Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a tutorial for a strawberry backpack. I hope you guys enjoy. This is the yarn that I'm using for this project. It is a weight 4 acrylic yarn. And you're going to need a green yarn for the leaves at the top. And then I'm using a white yarn for the seeds, but you could also use black. And I am using a 5mm hook. Take the yarn that you're using for your strawberry. It doesn't have to be red, you can use pink. I personally like the darker red yarn, but it's up to you. Start with your knot, and then you're going to chain 4. Once you have your chain 4, then you're going to connect your hook back through the very first chain that you created and you're going to tie that together with a slip knot. So once you've created your tiny ring, then this entire project is going to be uh, half double crochets. So I'm just going to go back through this entire loop. So first you chain one and then I'm going to prepare for a double crochet by wrapping the yarn around the hook. I'm going to go straight through the middle of this um, little chain. I'm going to pull yarn through and then I'm going to have three loops left on my hook and then I'm going to pull yarn through all three of those. So that is a half double crochet. So that counts as one. You're going to be putting a total of eight in this loop. Then once you have the eight, um, I am going to be connecting all of my rows together before I continue on to the next row. So I'm not going to be crocheting in a spiral, I'm going to be doing actual rows. So I'm just going to find the top of the very first half double crochet that I did, sticking my hook through that, and then I'm going to be connecting together with a slip stitch. So that is your first row. Then I'm going to chain two, and I'm going to be placing a half double crochet in every chain going back around. So once you went around the entire row and placed a half double crochet in every chain, I'm going to again connect it to the top of the very first chain that we did. I'm going to just pull thread through both and connect them together with a slip stitch. So then once I have this, the pattern for the remainder of the strawberry bag will be pretty much the same. I'm not going to film the entire thing, I'm just going to go ahead and explain what you're supposed to do. So always at the beginning of every row you're going to chain two. And then um, prepare for a half double crochet. You're going to go into the very first chain, place your half double crochet, and then through the very next chain I'm going to be placing two half double crochets through this chain. So again, placing one more through the same chain you just did. Then through the very next chain in this row, I'm going to be placing just one half double crochet. Then through the very next chain, I'm going to be placing two half double crochets. So for this row, you are going to alternate between placing one half double crochet in one chain, and the very next chain, you're going to be placing two. Then the chain after that, you're going to be placing one again. So just go ahead and continue this row, finishing that pattern. I'm going to just skip through this and come back once I've finished. Okay, so I did that row. I have one chain left in the row, um, and your last chain, sh you should be on 
the two half double crochet. However, I did place a chain two at the beginning of this row, so that's going to count as one. So your last two chains will only have one half double crochet in each of them. So then I'm just going to again connect this to the top of the very first chain two. I'm going to connect that with a slip stitch. Okay, so then for the next row, I'm going to chain two, prepare for a half double crochet, and then you're going to be placing one half double crochet in the very first two chains. So here's the very first chain, I place one half double crochet, here's the second chain, I place one on the third chain, I'm going to be placing two half double crochets. So I did two regular, now on the third one is getting two half double crochets in the same chain. So now the next one gets one, the next one after that gets one, on the third one gets two half double crochets in the same chain. So then I'm going to continue one, two, and then the third chain gets two half double crochets in the same chain. So just go ahead and finish this row. and. So again, I've reached the very last chain of the row, since I do have a chain two at the beginning. Um, the very last chain is my third chain, so it should be getting two half double crochets, but I'm only going to be placing one. And then I'm going to go through the very top of the chain two. I'm going to be connecting this row together with a slip stitch. Okay, so for the next row, chain two, prepare for a double crochet. For this row, I'm going to be placing one half double crochet in the first three chains. On the fourth chain, I am putting two half double crochets in that chain. So just go ahead and do that pattern. Okay, so on the fourth, I'm placing two half double crochets in the same chain. So continue that pattern for this next row. So I finished that row and then I already attached it with the slip stitch to connect the row together. This should be starting to form the bottom of the strawberry. So I'm just going to do the next two rows and I'm going to skip through it, but following the pattern, so the last row I did three, and then on the fourth one, I put two. So for this row, I'm going to do four and put two half double crochets in the fifth chain. And then again, for the very next row, I'm going to do five and then put the two half double crochets on the sixth chain. So I'm just gonna go ahead and skip over that and then come back once I've finished. Completed the last two rows. I am going to just be doing a regular row of half double crochets in every chain. I'm not including any extra chains in this row just because you kind of want your strawberry to level out a little bit. So I already connected it with a slip stitch and chained two. Now I'm going to be just placing half double crochets one in each chain. So just go ahead and do that and once I finish I will come back. So now I finished with my plain rows of half double crochets without including any extra chains in the row. I'm going to jump right back into my old pattern. So on the previous row, before the row I just did, I was at um, six half double crochets and then on the seventh chain I was including two half double crochets on the same chain. So now on this next row, I'm going to be doing seven half double crochets, one in each chain. 
And then on the eighth chain, I'm going to be doing two half double crochets in that chain. So I am going to be continuing that pattern probably for the next four rows, and then I'm going to stop and then do another row without adding any extra chains. So I'm just going to do that same exact pattern four more times. So you can see what I mean. I will write out the pattern and place it in the description box. So I'm just going to be slowly checking in, but I'm just going to be continuing that for the next four rows. On the fifth row, I'm going to be doing one more row without including any extra. So I'm just going to complete the next five rows and then come back. So this is what you should have once you've finished with the next five rows. So I am going to um, again, skip ahead. I'm going to do the next five rows. So I'm going to do the same exact thing that I just did. I'm going to do four rows of increase and then one row just regular. I will have the pattern again written in the description box. So I left off doing 10 half double crochets and then on the 11th row I increased adding two half double crochets in the same row. So now the new row I'm about to start on will be 11 and then on the 12th one is the increase and then the next one again it'll just um, proceed like that. So this is what you should have once you do the next five rows. So um, I am going to do six more rows of increase, increasing stitches and then then I think that will be the bulk of the strawberry and then after the next six rows I'm going to start decreasing just for maybe like four or five rows. I'm just going to do six more rows of increases. So your next row will be 15 half double crochets. Then on the 16th chain you're going to add two, 15 and then add two, 15 then add two. And then the next row will be 16 and then so on. So. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and do six more rows. So I am just going to chain two, prepare for a half double. I am just going into this very first one. Honestly, <laughs> how you do the very first stitch won't really matter because this is going to be the back side um, that faces your back. So. Don't like stress out too much if you feel like you're missing or adding um, any chains. It really doesn't matter that much. So I'm going to start off my row here. I'm going to do 15 and then I'm going to increase one half double crochet in the 16th chain. So again, I'm just going to skip through this. It does get pretty repetitive. Uh, this bag, I mean it doesn't take that long, but it's just a really repetitive pattern, so I'm going to finish the next six rows and then I'll be back. So this is what you should have after doing, I ended up doing five more rows. I think I said to do six, but I'm just going to do five. So I'm going to do one row of just regular half double crochets without adding or subtracting anything. So I'm just gonna do one row and then I'm gonna come back once I've done. So now I finished one row of just regular half double crochets without adding or subtracting. Now for this very next row, I am going to start subtracting chains. So you're gonna start off your row as normal. So you're going to chain two, prepare for a half double crochet, go into your first chain place your half double crochet. Then I'm going to chain, so that counts as one. I'm going to go for a total of 10. Okay, so now I have chained 10. So on the 11th chain, I'm going to prepare for a half double crochet, put my hook through the chain and yarn through. Now instead of completing the half double crochet, I'm going to prepare for another double crochet, uh, half double crochet. So I'm going to wrap the yarn around my hook once more and then go through the very next chain and yarn through. So you're going to have a total of five loops on your hook. Then I'm just going to grab some yarn and then pull through all five. 
So this is going to reduce chains in your row without leaving any gaps. So if you were to just skip over a chain, it's going to leave a small hole. So this way, I don't really know what this is called, but I'm sure it's called something. Uh, you can feel free to tell me what it is in the comments, I honestly don't know, but this is how I skip chains. So then, now I'm just going to prepare for a half double crochet and go through the very next one, place the half double crochet as normal. I'm going to go along and do an additional 10 regular half double crochets, and then I'm going to repeat that same process again on the 11th and the 12th stitch. So you're going to be skipping chains every 10 chains if that makes sense so I'm just gonna go through place another 10 and I'll show you one more time I went an additional 10 chains placing one half double crochet in every chain preparing for another half double crochet going through the very next chain in the row pulling yarn through preparing for another half double crochet going through the very next chain in the row pulling yarn through that having five loops left on my hook, I'm going to grab yarn and pull it through all of them. So that is how you skip chains. So now I'm just going to continue that same pattern through the remainder of this row and I'm going to pause here and come back once I have finished. So now that you've completed that very first row of decreasing chains, you're going to do that two more times so for this next row, chain two to start the row, prepare for your half double crochet, go through the first chain, place your half double crochet, and you're going to be doing this for the next 11 chains. So you're going to be placing a half double crochet in the next 11 chains, and then you're going to repeat that same decreasing um, process I don't know what you call it but so for this row you're gonna do it every 11 chains and then the next row you're gonna do it every 12 chains so, so now once you are finished with those two rows I'm just gonna do one final row with our red yarn and I'm going to continue to decrease so I'm going to con I'm gonna stick with the pattern I used for the very last row so I'm gonna be chaining ten, uh, 12 and then decreasing on the 13th so I'm going to go ahead and do that and then come back once I'm finished. So now that I'm finished with my very last row, I am just going to cut and tie it here. So I will just weave that piece in later. So now I am going to grab my green yarn. So I'm just going to attach it along the back, really any chain, it doesn't really matter. But I'm going to attach it along the back where um, my seam is for my backpack. So just in case you didn't already guess, this is the seam of the backpack, so um, that's where I was slip stitching all of my rows together. I don't really want that to show on the side so I'm just folding it so that it's going to be in the middle and then this is going to be the back of my backpack. So anyway once you have your green yarn attached then I'm just going to loop it through a chain then I'm going to chain two prepare for a half double crochet. I'm going to go through the very next chain and I'm just going to be placing oops, I'm just going to be placing a regular row of half double crochet along the top of the strawberry. So just go ahead and place a regular row of half double crochets along the entire top of the strawberry and I'm going to come back once I've finished. Once you've completed the row of basic half double crochets. I'm just going to chain two and then do one more row. I am going to get started on the leaf pattern. So 